Hello everyone. Now we are going to study and learn something regarding OM info types, transaction codes and plant version. So what are the info types in OM? What are the transaction codes in OM and what is plant version? So this lecture will basically cover the info types in OM, the transaction codes in OM and what is plant version. Let's see the info types in OM. If you recall the personal administration module, we know the info type in personal administration starts with 0000, because SAP has given that range 0000 till 0999 for personal administration info types. But for OM, the range SAP has given is from 1000 till 1999. So the concept of info type is same for both OM as well as PA because the purpose is to store the information. But the purpose of each info type will be different because each info type has its own specific purpose to store the specific uh, information. Like info type 1000. This info type 1000, the name of this is object. What does this info type do? This info type is used to create objects such as department. So info type 1000 is object which is basically used to create organizational units which are nothing but departments or it could be group. Now the next info type is 1001 which is nothing but relationships. What is relationship? We already covered in the previous lecture like the relationship could be between the org unit to org unit, between position to org unit or between job and position and so on. Now the next relationship is 1002 which is description like if you want to give some text or describe the org unit like oh this org unit is basically uh, like uh, the top org unit or you want to describe some good thing about the org unit some specific information about the org unit or any object type so this info type 1002 description can be used for that purpose because it is used to append the text descriptions to different object similarly we have another info type called 1008 which is account assignment the purpose of this is to store account relevant data such as personal area company code sub area and other particular fields the next info type is 1013 which is employee group subgroup so in this info type you can assign a position to employee group and employee subgroup so these were just the important om info types although there are a couple of uh, more info types so thousand thousand one thousand two 1008 and 1013 these are some of the important om info types the concept of concept of info type is same whether it's pa or om but each info type purpose is totally different so when we do practically in om i will show you how this info uh, info types will be created now let's see what are the different transaction codes in om if you recall the personal administration module, there were some important transaction codes like PA30 to maintain HR master data, PA40 to create personal action. Similarly, here there are some transaction codes in OM. So these are the important transaction codes. In OM, basically we have three different ways to create the organizational structure 
which is basically I will be explaining you in the next lecture but since it is mentioned here let me give you a quick brief about that you can create organizational structure using one of the three interfaces what are those first one is expert mode maintenance second one is simple maintenance third one is organization and staffing so these are the three different ways through which you can create organizational structure so sap has given you three different ways to create your own organizational structure if you create the organizational structure using simple maintenance that organizational structure will automatically get reflected in other interfaces so you don't have to again create the same structure through this maintenance no in any of this interface maintenance or interface i would say when you create an org structure you can automatically reflect it in other interfaces means you will be able to see whatever you have created the org structure through simple maintenance you will be able to see that in expert mode maintenance whatever you have created similarly if you create the organizational structure through this interface called organization and staffing you will be able to see whatever has been created in simple maintenance and expert mode means these three inter interface are basically related to each other like basically even if you create the org structure in one interface you can see in another interface now the third topic is what is plan version so till now we understood what are the info types in om and what are the transaction codes in om now let's understand what is plan version plan version are used to maintain and display the organizational structure in different scenarios so plan version means like you might be uh, when you when you do something uh, in the real life like i mean they you always you know term as version 1 version 2 version 3 right because you want to compare so version similarly here plan versions are basically created to compare the different organizational structure for testing purposes let us uh, let me give you a good example like currently probably my company has an org structure like it it might have uh, 10 org units and 50 positions and 10 12 jobs and 500 employees and so on now the company wants to add and remove some of the org units and they want to see how it looks like so they don't want to disturb the current plan version so what they do they copy and create a new plan version and they simulate they simulate it how the org structure will look like when they remove or or, or add or you know uh, reorganize it so that is the reason why we say plan versions are always used to simulate and test and compare the different plans like you know so at a time only one plan version will be active you cannot have all the plan versions active and it makes sense because at a time only one plan version is active means that plan version will have the active org units position job everything within that plan version means those are currently active in the system so if you are making any other plan version as active then this will be deactivated and that will become active so you can have multiple plan versions but at a time only one plan version will be active so this completes our topic of organizational like the info types the transaction code and the plan version let me show you how to navigate to the info types or transaction codes in OEM so a second
so let me show you like what are the different uh, info types in oem and what are the different transaction codes in oem just focus on this screen how i am navigating go to human resources here and then you will see organizational management here expand that note or and then you will see here expand mode simple maintenance and organization and staffing so in my slides i told you that there are three different ways to create the organizational structure one of them is organization in staffing the second one is the expert mode which has this particular transaction codes and third one is the simple maintenance which has these transaction codes so these are always the left hand side are always the transaction codes right hand side will give you the description of that particular transaction code so this is basically to create this transaction code is for change this transaction code is for display so these three transaction codes are used under this particular interface called organization and staffing similarly for expert mode these are the different transaction code through which we can create the org structure and similarly we have simple maintenance these are the three transaction codes so either if you know the transaction code you can directly type up in the command bar and uh, if you don't know the transaction codes then you can navigate how i showed you here so this was the transaction codes now let me show you where the info types are stored so info types are always stored under expert mode you will not be able to see info types of oem in organization and staffing and simple maintenance so info types are always stored in expert mode so the next lecture is totally focusing on these three interfaces how we are going to create the org structure through these interfaces so that time uh, i'll show you what are those info types how you are going to create that info type but before that the most important is the plan version so we have to create a plan version so i am going to the img spro i click on this img here because i have to create a plan version so as i told you you can create number of plan versions but at a time only one will be activated so highlight this personal management and this one it's taking some time but normally it should be a bit fast so you will see organizational management and there is a global settings in personal management so you can expand the global settings in personal management so here you can basically expand this one and maintain the plan versions so under the personal management you go to the global settings and under that you go to the plan version maintenance so when you click on the maintain plan version here on this particular clock you can create your own plan version so let me show you there will be many plan versions which are already set up in sap i mean you can also create many plan versions but see there are so many plan versions here so what i did i created one plan version called za which is zenith plan version if you see this is currently active 
even though there are all other planned versions but not, none of them is active because I told you there can be many planned versions but only one of them is active I made this as an active now you will be wondering how did I check mark this box because this is disabled I'll tell you how the planned version is Z remember this now go back the second node is set active plan version this is the place where the system is asking you to set your active plan version when I click on this one so when you click this the next screen which comes up there you have to enter which plan version you want to make it as an active So it is taking some time. So if you see here, if you see here, I entered the my plan version name as ZA. So whatever the plan version number you enter here, that becomes the active plan version. That is the reason why in the previous screen, it was showing a tick mark on my plan version, which was ZA here if you see here so if you go back and give some other numbers so that particular plan version will be the active plan version so currently i have given za which is the current and active plan version this is the active plan version so in the next section i'll go through the different ways to configure the org structure and also how to create info types so hope you understood this class and, and enjoyed uh, keep practicing it like uh, the more you get familiar with the transaction codes go to the transaction code get familiarity of the screen and uh, and also you know create some examples by yourself so it will be more and more easy for you thank you